Hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Heat Reviews. This is a hot seat and I'm your host Aaron Minter. Tonight we've got Ben Wall returning. It's been a few weeks but he's back and he's ready to take on some sources. Of course. And tonight we have a very, very special guest. We have Connor Wren. He's joining us. He is going to be taking on these sources with us tonight. It's your first time experiencing something like this, I presume? Yes, actually yes. it is. How are you feeling about it? Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> I like that. This is my sauce, Scotch Bonnet Mild. We had the Scotch Bonnet Hot on, on our last show, and that one got a 10 out of 10 on flavour, and it was absolutely amazing. So I'm really, really excited to see how this one is. That does that smell smells good. good. Oh, that's, that's, that's smells that's fantastic. That's mellow and not yeah. soothing. I like it. It hits you so good. Yeah, it does. It's, it's sort of making me salivate a little bit. It's, it smells that good. <laughs> Here are the ingredients just quickly. Uh, we've got peppers, 67%. Water, scotch bonnet chilies, only 7%. Spirit vinegar, garlic, rapeseed oil, tomato, spices, vegetable stock. Uh, we've got laurel, white pepper, carrot powder, and salt, and tap and gum. Let's see how it tastes. incredible. It's like an orgasm in your mouth. No, it actually <laughs> is, isn't it? <clears throat> That's like the first sauce and it's just like, boom. I don't know, I want a little bit more. Oh, I do as well. I see, you can definitely feel like tingle, like from the heat. But it's, it's a good tingle. Yeah, it's yeah. only mild, isn't it? And a really nice savoury flavour as well. I've got a bit of richness from it as well. Sorry, what? I've got a bit of richness from that. Yeah, definitely. Well, it, it's just, it's perfect on every level for heat, for flavour. I would have to say, um, I'd love to put this on wings and marinate it and then cook I would it. as well. Oh, mm. I'm going to start with the flavour score. Do it. 10 out of 10. I'd have to agree. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can't deny. Otherwise, I'd be a prick. That's a straight 10 out of 10. Alright, yeah. what about heat? Ben? <laughs> I'd say a three. I agree. <laughs> Definitely a three. Could even borderline a two even. Mm. A bit less I'm, than I'm that. thinking two point five for me. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. It gives it. It's got 5. that middleness. It's got that it's a bit of heat, but it's got that richness and flavour to it that you yeah. definitely dis definitely agree with. Absolutely agree. Well, what a way to start. That is that is really That's pleasant. Start. I am looking forward to the end of the show to where I get to eat all of this. We're in luck. Right. So moving on. A big, a huge shout, a huge, huge shout to Dean Lim from Brighton Hot Sauce. Now, these guys have always been incredible. Everything they make is incredible. But I've not tried this one. This one's sweetie. Uh, habaneros, white wine vinegar, cider vinegar, red chilies, sugar, garlic, ginger, water, uh, Szechuan peppercorn, sea salt, lemongrass, agar, and xanthan gum. That's one trademark. Ooh. Ingredient I always see in Brighton hot sauce is agar. So you can see it looks like a sweet chili sauce almost. Mm. So I'm getting that squished pepper look vibe right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, wow. That smells quite interesting. Ooh. Really nice. It's this floralness to it. So this, and I like you can see all the seeds, it's, quite, it's mm. very nice textured. It's got a nice red to it as well, that's good. Yeah, good colour. Got a good sheen to it as well, nice shiny colour. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Mm. It does take a few seconds to kick in though. Mm. It's quite pleasantly sweet, isn't it? Yeah, I can see you give it a compliment, that's the word as well. So. Yeah, nice texture in there as well. Mm. I'd say, I thought it would be a little bit hotter, mm. but that is just, it's that really perfect balance. It's, on, it's like settled in between your lines. Yeah, 
I really I, like I, that. Yeah, no, it definitely lives up to the name Sweetie. Mm. Right, that's the sauce. Well, I, I reckon agree. you could probably have an ice cream, maybe. Really? I mean, yeah. that'd be quite a, quite a hot one for an ice It'll cream. It'll be a hot but one, but it might go well. It could work. It has got that sweet sweetness yeah. to it that would, that would blend with that. Might have to try that. Um, yeah, I'm going to start the uh, flavour on this one. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it... And I'm not normally into sweet sauces, so I'm going to give this one a 9 on flavour. <coughs> Where do you guys sit? I would definitely have to say 9.5. Yeah. I, I, I love that sauce. Like not obviously not as much as that one. Like that one's just. But it's very close. It's, so it's yeah. Nine point five. Yeah, it's just that little smidgen less. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fine. I, I mean, it's, it's difficult for me because again, like as what you said about these two sauces, they've got their own kick to it. They've got their own quality. They've got their flavor own flavor to it. Yeah, the they've got profile. their own personality. I, I'd have to give it a nine. Yeah, it's all pretty. It's pretty close at the yeah. moment. That's good. All right then. What about the heat though? Where are we on the heat with this one? I'm on the same with the last one. Three. I mean, it it done the same very, thing. Very even. That was more quicker to the the punch. The heat. Yeah. yeah. That it's... one took about, about say three seconds to do. This one is Little O's hot sauce. Mm -hmm. This is Spitzfire. Pineapple and habanero mm. fermented hot sauce. I do love a fermented hot sauce. I've not tried fermented mm. hot sauce though. It's, it's the first time. Yeah, well, honestly, the flavour is so much more intense because it's been mm. fermented for such a long time or however long. This one's got water, pineapple, 22%, yellow peppers, yellow habanero peppers, 18%, onion, white wine vinegar, garlic, ginger, lime juice, sugar, salt, turmeric. So the flavours are incredible. Uh, but it's uh, four out of five heat level apparently. Ooh, Ooh okay. Spicy one. Yeah, it's got a kick apparently, so let's find out. <laughs> so, the, the I have to say the colour on this is beautiful, bright glossy. yellow. Yeah, glossy as well. Texture is good. It's not too runny. It's Even not too thick. Bit of chili. Great design on the label. Really impressive looking sauce. It sounds great as well. So. All we can do now is try it and see if it um, matches up with what the says. facade it gives. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Wow. I've got one bit. I think it's lemon now. I'm going to start. <coughs> it could be long. It's got like tangy ice cream. That citrusiness, that lemon and lime, they're so similar, aren't they? But mm, that's quite yummy. Mm. The pineapple, was it was pineapple, wasn't it? It was watermelon, yeah. I think it was. No, no, yeah, it was pineapple, pineapple, yeah. Was it? Yeah, and the pineapple there. is definitely there. It's not overpowering with the pineapple. <coughs> no, it feels it's just a match, really, so it doesn't really it's perfect both of them. Perfectly balanced between those habaneros and pineapples, it just blends really nicely. Um, the flavour is good though, it's quite a savoury sauce. Mm. It's not coming across as a fruity sauce, although you can taste the pineapple. It's like a weird, it's weird, it's like it's got a savoury hint, but it's yeah. pineapple, it should be sweet. Mm. But I like it either way. I'm going to start the flavour off with 8.5. Wow, okay. Because it's not quite hitting the bar that the last two did, but yeah. it's, 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 it's still bloody it's terrific. Still still. Yeah. yeah. About an eight. <clears throat> okay. I'd have to go for, uh, in all honesty, 9.5. Oh, wow. Okay. It, it's a flavour, actually. I could taste more of the flavour than the heat. Yeah, that's, that's the, the best thing, thing isn't it? That's what I like it overpowered the heat of it. Yeah. That's what that's the best came thing. to my palate. So it's kind of matched up with the last one for you because again, yes. again, they are all on that similar. Yeah, they're all on. They're on this the weird same. baseline that we've got right now. You know? So what would you give it on? What would you give on heat? I'd say two. I'd say a one. I couldn't really taste the heat because of the fruitiness to it. I'd say, I'd say a one and a half. Just sort of we're on that spectrum yeah. of one all the way across the two. It's literally so it's quite as nice. equal as <coughs> the last two. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, nice. That's that's a great source. Thank you. So we're going to move on now. Mm -hmm. 
This one I think packs a bit of heat, right? This mm. is Wings Edinburgh. They're well known. So this one's called Ape Flame. It's an extra hot habanero sauce. Yeah. Listen to this. Look at look at the 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 chili rating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And why it's called Ape Flame. <sighs> Okay, so, yep. where are the ingredients? We've got okay. habanero chili, cayenne chili, white wine vinegar, water, salt, smoked salt, ancho chili, thyme, oregano, spices, and xanthan gum. Ancho, so doesn't it? Yeah, so it doesn't sound hot at all. It doesn't it sound chili. bad, but... It depends on the level of chili, which I haven't put the percentage. It depends on the, I think you could tell beforehand the <laughs> smell of it. Yeah. Because it would stick to your yeah. nose more. And look how... It looks as well compared to the other one. Oh my arrows. goodness. That's, oh. that's got heat. Wow. Oh. Edinburgh. Scotland. Scotland. Wow. Oh, wow. Hmm. So we've got kitchen towel. Yeah, is it hot? No, it's gross. <laughs> That's got a horrible tang to it. I don't know That's what that is. Vinegary. It's like one of the basic hot sauces you get in like Asda and everything. It is very vinegary. It's sharp, isn't it? It's very, it's very bitter. I don't know how you two have managed to get that down. I'm from Glasgow. I had to, I had to, That's my excuse. I had to chase it. No, I didn't like that at all. I'm sorry, I didn't like that. That's, um, it's not, you know, I like, like yeah. Really? Seriously? Damn. It's in your blood. My <laughs> 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 dad's side. Wait, so where do you two stand on flavour with that? Three. Three. Oof. Ben. I'm going gonna, gonna to surprise both of you. A five. It's still low compared to the other. For other me? Side, isn't it? I couldn't really taste the heat. Oh, it's still the same level as that. Yeah, the heat. I'm the on heat. the same level as that. I'd say the heat's uh, maybe a little, maybe one more, maybe yeah. a three and a half, four. But the flavour, <laughs> it just lingers. I just feel, I think Ben's right. There's a bit too much um, vinegar and maybe too much salt. I'm Do enjoying you like getting salt in it? Mm. But I'm enjoying it, so I don't really care. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I've, I've just... Done a bacaki party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I need, salty. No, I still taste it. I need to replace it. It tastes so nice, but I don't even have a drink. That's the thing. No, see, I don't feel like I need to have a drink or nothing because again, the heat, the heat wasn't too bad. But I, I have to say, on on the uh, on the flavour side, I think I'm gonna have to to go back to my number ten here for just to cover the bloody awful taste that I've just had. I'm sorry, but. Knock back the vinegar and knock back the salt, and that flavour will come through just a little bit more. I'm good. <laughs> it's got you in it. Yeah. <sighs> Don't worry, your heart's racing the best thing to beat it. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Okay, that's good. We broke the scale. Still. <laughs> <laughs>